to the Asbury Park Press, the Coaster, and the Star Ledger on January 6, 2016 and posted on the bulletin board the same day. All notices are on file with the city clerk. Uh, right now we're going to go to the holiday decorating contest, the order prizes, councilwoman Clayton. Thank Second. All in favor? Aye. All opposed? Ayes have it. The public is expected to conduct themselves in a proper manner. Any derogatory, abusive, or threatening <coughs> statements will not be permitted. The chair will immediately rule such comments, uh, such conduct out of order, and after appropriate warning, may terminate any further uh, comments from the speaker. I'd like to remind you, everybody has three minutes to speak, and when you please come up to the mic, please state your name and address for the record, please. My name is Teresa Jones of Neptune, former business owner in Asbury Park. First thing I'd like to do is say Happy New Year. And uh, from the folks on DeWitt Avenue, thank you for the trees that have been removed. 
Uh, there were three addresses there verbally. One of them, we never got anything in writing, so it is what it is at this point unless they come up with something later. Um, the second thing, I know there's been a lot of staff changes and other things, and I'm not sure that you're aware, and I don't know who manages your website, but during this past uh, season, two of your city-sponsored events were not posted on your event calendar, and mm -hmm. perception mm -hmm. is everything because there were other businesses and other things that are not City of Asbury Park offices who had an event uh, posted on the City of Asbury Park's homepage and website. Your Kwanzaa event and your, the tree lighting on Main at Fifth Avenue was not posted. So you kind of need to like really be mindful of that because it sends a message that's not good just to make you aware. Thank you, and it won't happen again. Maureen Nevin, Deal Lake Drive. Um, hi, everybody. I have um, a couple of items, um, and then later on you can answer me. Um, the parking lot at Webb and Deal Lake Drive. Um, I had asked about non-conforming use because it's not being used for parking, it's being used for storage, and Chief Ketty and Michael Capabianco, we're going to look into that, and I'd like to know if uh, they found that it's uh, out of the zoning, is against the zoning uh, laws or not, and what's going to be done, if anything. Um, the attorneys, advisors, have they all been reappointed, or do we have new ones? It was kind of confusing from the reorganization whether how that played out. Um, the sewer plant, um, everybody's talking about possibly moving it, and um, I wondered what's going to happen with the municipal debt that's uh, uh, issued under the, the sewer uh, plant as a collateral. And that is <clears throat> currently the principal is 25, almost 26 million, and uh, that's just the principal, the interest is another two million on the sewer plant, bonds that are connected to the sewer plant. Um, also, I wanted to ask about the uh, Salerno matter uh, with his taking the car, the uh, city car, out of the state um, to Florida on vacation. And um, there seems to be some confusion about whether we allow that to happen or not. Um, I'd like to know if anyone has reviewed um, the, the former chief's contract, Kinman's contract, and can you tell us whether or not that contract allows people to take the city car on vacation? And if, it, if that is so, do you intend to change the policy at all? Um, it would seem a rather strange policy for a city that has about $73 million in long-term debt. Uh, you know, it's a lot of liability to let people go on vacation with a, a, state, a city car. And if, at any rate, the people should be deciding it. And I don't think the people are really knowledgeable of that situation. I could be wrong. So, um, also, I think that it shows, it was, it was not publicized, and I think it shows bad judgment on the part of the leadership there. Thank you. Let me just start briefly on the sewer plant. I don't know if you were here when Joe mentioned it at the work session. Uh, the sewer plant is, and I described it to Cal, it's a giant jigsaw puzzle with a lot of pieces that have to be moved around and fit perfectly to work out. I start a process and ask, do you mind if we look into it? No, it's on their nickel. It's not costing us a penny. So again, you're right. Uh, $30 million in bonding has to be addressed. We have to address, do we get a guaranteed rate for so many years from Ocean Township? What's it going to cost? Mm -hmm. Everything. So there's like right. 20 pieces that have to be looked at. And right now, everything's at their nickel, hasn't cost the city a penny, and they're looking into it. So it, I think it's good to look into. It's thinking outside of the box, and we'll go from there. And Michael will handle the personnel issues. Thank you, Mayor. Uh, the parking lot 
uh, Webb and Deal Lake, that's a, it's not owned by us. It is a private lot that is being shared. That wasn't in question. That wasn't in question. That was the first question you asked. No, it wasn't. <laughs> okay. Uh, the appointments, the redevelopment attorney is a holdover. I'm sorry, you didn't finish about the nonconforming use. That was the question. I was answering. The, what was the answer? The parking lot is not owned by us. It is currently being used as a staging area for our boardwalk lighting project um, in agreement with the company. So once the project's over, it's still going to be an open air parking lot. With the boardwalk lighting, we didn't have any place to put it. So it's a staging area that we are using as an empty lot. The city is using it. Yes. And it belongs to, I understand, Sackman. Yes. I Correct? So. so when the city is finished, um, is it going to be approved for a storage area or is it going to remain a parking lot? It's our stuff there, so I would assume that it's going to revert to a parking lot or, or an undeveloped lot, whatever the owner is going to use it as. But right now we're using it as a staging area. Because it's a zoning matter. That's, that's the principle. Uh, the next thing you talked about was a, you asked about was the attorneys. Redevelopment council has been held over. There's been no official appointment. That's and Scotland, correct? Yes. And the Salerno matter, yes, Kidman's contract called for it. When the chief left at the time, Jack Kelly was the, the city manager who told Mr. Salerno, as then deputy chief, still is deputy chief, that you're going to be following Kidman's contract. That was in the paper. Um, if you also, in the article, Jack Kelly said he didn't read the contract. So Salerno was following what the policy was at the time. There's a larger policy issue here um, that we've been addressing slowly. The, this is a, a policy, so it's a, a council policy, mayor and council policy. The last time the personnel policy was updated was 2010, and then a previous to that was 1992, where you had more of the subset of agreements. We're in the process of updating the personnel policy, which would update, in part, the vehicle usage policy. So it's a bigger issue than just a standard employment contract. Um, Mr. Salerno obviously will not be taking his car, the city car, anywhere to Florida, California ever again. He knows that. Um, but we're addressing the bigger issue of the vehicle policy as part of the, the personnel policy where it really should be. Thank you. Thank you. Next. Tracy Rogers, Monroe Avenue. Um, it's 24 degrees out, and I wondered if code enforcement was staffed to make sure all homes are providing heat, making sure that residents, and in case of emergency, uh, situations are brought forth. Uh, do we have an emergency plan in place? Houses go down with heat to, for displaced people in case of emergency. And also, I asked about the transit station being held open in these, in these terrible hours for people who, you know, unbeknownst to themselves, don't have any place to go, or as the city worked along with the agencies here to provide service to people during this time of the year. That's it. In the matter of landlords and um, ownership of any property being cold, the, I believe that gets first reference to the county because, um, and I say that, I, I want to talk to Doug and Tony in the Social Services Department because that's where a lot of the initial calls come in. Um, the county has coordination of all the shelters, so in order to turn the transit station into a shelter or to be opened as a heating zone, it has to be coordinated through the county. Um, with respect have we done that not that i'm aware of would we be looking into 
<laughs> well, we actually have a shelter in Asbury Park called The Mission, right? So that's a 10-day shelter for any man. Mm -hmm. um, uh, and it, it does not allow women in it, but any 10-day shelter, it's a 10-day shelter for any male, and then there's a longer-term six- to nine-month program provided you follow whatever guidelines they lay out. So I would, um, and listen, if you want to look into the transit center, I don't have a problem with that. I'm just saying there is a 10 day shelter in Asbury Park. Well, I'm just saying in, in case, like you said, most, so is it on the website that emergencies with heating, all these calls go to the county. So the city's not responsible to go out and inspect to make sure. We would because still inspect. I talk to. If we get a call, we inspect. That's that's standard. But I'll, I'll check on the website to see where we do post that. If it is posted, and if it's not, we'll add it. We we also have CDBG money as far as somebody can't pay their heating bill, and there's a couple bills on tonight's bills and claims where th that's being used. We are using that. Yes. Okay. So if somebody approaches second floor and says. I've got a problem, I can't afford my heat. There is money in the CDBG money, and it, there's a couple units on tonight's bills and claims where that was used. Okay, I mean, the, okay. Pe the people know about it. Well, yes. Okay. Hello, Mayor and Council, Jerry Scarano, Long Branch. Okay, um, what I wanted to say, I guess I really didn't get the answers I wanted on Monday, so I wanted to ask you in a different way. Um, what are our visions or what are your plans for 2016 to roll back taxes or have cuts? I'd like somebody to talk about it. I don't know who's going to answer it. Then um, we have to talk more about shared services. I'd like to, someone to talk about that, what we have in a short range plan to do that and maybe long range plan, maybe not tonight, but at some point sooner than later. And then I would like to know, when we're hiring new people, are they going to come up with their own 401ks, or are they going to pay for their own health benefits? I mean, companies now have tracking devices on people's cell phones, where their employees are, what they're doing. The, many companies are reinventing themselves, and I think good government should reinvent themselves, because with the pension plan, things are falling apart. In the paper on Sunday, I'm not sure of all the figures yet, but we went up 8% in taxes while other towns stayed equal. There's something wrong. So like I said, i like us to have a budget committee because I mentioned it once before. You guys have all the professionals you want, but we know what happened with the Titanic. It was designed by professionals and it went down. The ark was built by farmers and the only in insects were not allowed on the Arc with termites. Just think about it. So one of the things I think I'll, I'll just I'll take is that we uh, I, I think there's several people in the audience who have talked about us doing um, and I'm using not the language they use but you know some sort of update like a city to the city address you know talking about the previous year and the upcoming year and some of the goals so um, I don't know if that takes care of your first part but we're working on that. Um, we're working on that to, to have at, um, you know, hopefully our, our next meeting. And what about, are you guys going to talk about a budget committee? Because we really need one. You have quality of life, you have all these other committees. Budget committee, the taxes affect everybody's livelihood in this room. The one thing I will say about our taxes, and, and I'm, I'm assuming, so our, a report of Monmouth County taxes came out, right? And, and what, you, I think we all know Lock Arbor has the, some of the highest taxes in Monmouth County, and Rumson has the highest taxes in Monmouth County. Asbury Park is, uh, let's say this is Rumson, this is the lowest one, and I forget who it was. Asbury is closer to the lowest. So I know everybody complains about our taxes. I'm not suggesting that you no, shouldn't but complain. Amy, I'm only suggesting that our taxes are nowhere near the highest in, the, in Monmouth but County. But Lock Arbor and Rumson do not have $76 million in debt. I think I'm just saying, please, before. just we need a formula. Right. Right. We need budget committees. We need budget. We need each um, department head to come up 
what meetings every twice a month and once a month the city council could tell us or the city manager could tell us Jerry or Reed or whoever they want to say whoever you want to put a sticker on and say this is what they think they say from last year's budget that's all okay. thank you very much appreciate it and as far as shared services uh, we probably leave the county as far as shared services be it with there's one on tonight's agenda with Neptune there's previous ones with Bradley Beach. We have several with the county to save money on, be it repairs to fire trucks, be it uh, buying salt through the, for the winter. Uh, we have probably more shared services. We're, we're ahead of the curve on shared services. And we're gonna continue to look at them because that's where we can save money. Okay, and no, I appreciate it. Thank okay, you very thank much you, for listening you. to me. Motion to close. Move it. Oh, let's, I'm sorry. <laughs> Hello, Mayor and Council. My name is Jay Harmon. I spoke here last time uh, about the second week of November, and I had uh, voiced a concern. Um, I own a business on Asbury Avenue, Atlantic Architectural Millwork, and we had noticed a spike in um, uh, vagrants, panhandlers, and uh, illicit activity in the neighborhood, which really hadn't existed prior. Um, <clears throat> the next day after the council meeting, I met with uh, Acting Chief Salerno, had about a 45-minute meeting with he and a couple of his um, uh, staff members. He listened, took down notes. Uh, he responded back to me later on that day and suggested having a, um, a meeting at my business to uh, uh, address the plan of how he was going to attack the uh, spike of uh, uh, rise of activity in the neighborhood and um, uh, what I had done is I brought together four or five other businesses and he came in on Friday Chief Salerno came in on Friday with um, four or five other officers he explained what was happening and he laid out a plan which he implemented immediately and within a couple of days uh, the problem had been eradicated and uh, I just think that uh, he's got a tough position there, but I'll tell you, he's, he handled himself <clears throat> very professionally. He was very effective, and I could see as a respect of his, uh, his force as well. So I think uh, <clears throat> it's easy to ride somebody in that, that position, but I, he deserves a, uh, um, some recognition, and I, uh, I'm here to voice that, and I can't give the guy any higher honors at this point, so thank you. Wow, thank you. Thank you. Do I have to say my name? Yes. Jennifer Lampert. Address? Uh, 905 Heck. Um, so while we're ending on alkylates, <laughs> I just was coming before you, and I'm, I'm going to read it because I'm terrible at public speaking. I just wanted to thank the mayor, the council, the city manager, the city attorney, the police chief, and the police department, especially Mike Casey, for being collaborative, cooperative, and insightful um, in working towards helping our business have a positive impact on our local community as, as much as possible um, while trying at times to figure out how we can maintain the bar crowd and the people that are leaving our establishment. It proved to be a very fruitful process for us and we're very happy with the work that was done between ourselves and uh, the acting chief. And I just uh, wanted to say thank you for communicating with us and I'm looking forward to having an open communication with the police department and the council and everyone involved as the city grows to make sure our business and other other businesses are having a positive impact on the city and and trying to maintain some of that uh, foot traffic that we're all reaping the rewards of. So just thank you very much, and um, that's it. Thank, thank you. you. Hey, take the two. Motion to close. Close. Stop where we're ahead. Uh, second. second. All in favor. On to acceptance of minutes. I have a uh, motion to accept December 21st, 2015 workshop, December 23rd, 2015 executive, and December 23rd, 2015 regular. Move it. Move it. Second. Councilmember Clayton? Yes. Councilmember Kendall? Yes. Councilmember Warner? Yes. Happy Mayor Quinn? Yes. Mayor Moore? Yes. Now move on to the consent agenda. All matters listed on the consent agenda are presented collectively to the city council and will be considered 
for approval with one vote. These matters are to be considered routine in nature, and there will be no individual discussion of these items. This discussion is desired by one or more council members. As to a particular item, then said item shall be removed from the council consent agenda and considered separately. Tonight's consent agenda consists of resolution 2016-33, Approving special events wedding applications as presented on January 11, 2016. Resolution 2016-34, resolution authorizing the payment of payroll in the amount of $839,873.25. Resolution 2016-35, authorizing appointments to the Parking Advisory Committee. Read the name. Just because we said we were going to read names from here or not, so read the name. I think it's Michelle McGuire. <laughs> Thank you. I forgot. <laughs> Resolution 2016-36, authorizing a $500 change fund to be utilized by the Parking Utility Operating Fund. Resolution 2016-37, resolution of rejecting bids for vehicle maintenance repairs. Resolution 2016-38, resolution rejecting all bids for vehicle transmission repairs and associated maintenance. And resolution 2016-39, resolution rejecting all bids for computer maintenance repair. Can I have a motion, please? Move it. Second. Okay. Councilmember Clayton? Yes. Councilmember Kendall? Yes. Councilmember Warner? Yes. Deputy Mayor Quinn? Yes. Mayor Moore? Yes. Individual resolutions. Resolution 2014-40, resolution authorizing the transfer of 2015 appropriation reserve budget for fiscal year 2016. Can I have a motion, please? Move it. Second. Comments or questions? Councilmember Clayton? Yes. Councilmember Kendall? Yes. Councilmember Warner? Yes. Deputy Mayor Quinn? Yes. Mayor Moore? Yes. Resolution 2016 41, resolution authorizing the payment of bills in the amount of $1,866,587.73. Can I have a motion, please? Move it. Second. Okay. Comments or questions? Okay, and the mayor, you're going to abstain from that one line item that we discussed earlier. Correct. Councilmember Clayton? Yes. Councilmember Kendall? Yes. Councilmember Warner? Yes. Deputy Mayor Quinn? Yes. Mayor Moore with that one exception? Yes. Resolution 2016-42, resolution awarding contract for vehicle collision repairs. Can I have a motion? Move it. Second. Comments or questions? Councilmember Clayton? Yes. Councilmember Kendall? Yes. Councilmember Warner? Yes. Deputy Mayor Quinn? Yes. Mayor Moore? Yes. Resolution 2016-43, resolution authorizing a shared service agreement between the City of Asbury Park and the Township of Neptune for maintenance and repair of police vehicles. Can I have a motion, please? Move, Move it. Second. Comments or questions? Councilmember Clayton? Yes. Councilmember Kendall? Yes. Councilmember Warner? Yes. Deputy Mayor Quinn? Yes. Mayor Moore? Yes. Resolution 2016-44, resolution pursuant to NJSA 48-11-4.3, authorizing the use of competitive contracting for the operation, management, and administration of data processing services. Can I have a motion? Move it. Second. Comments or questions? Councilmember Clayton? Yes. Councilmember Kendall? Yes. Councilmember Warner? Yes. Deputy Mayor Quinn? Yes. Mayor Moore? Yes. Resolution 2015-45, Resolution Amending Special Conditions for Liquor License, 1303-33-054-007, House of Independence, LLC. Move it. Second. Comments or questions? Councilmember Clayton? Yes. Councilmember Kendall? Yes. Councilmember Warner? Yes. Deputy Mayor Quinn? Yes. Mayor Moore? Yes. Resolution 2014-46, authorizing approval to execute application and agreement with New Jersey Department of Transportation for Urban A FY 2011 and 2012. This is for Prospect Avenue. Can I have a motion, please? Move it. Second. Comments or questions? Councilmember Clayton? Yes. Councilmember Kendall? Yes. Councilmember Warner? Yes. Deputy Mayor Quinn? <coughs> yes. Mayor Moore? Yes. Resolution 2016-47, a resolution for permission to apply for FEMA AFG grant. Can I have a motion, please? Move it. Second. Comments or questions? Councilmember Clayton? 
Yes. Councilmember Kendall? Yes. Councilmember Warner? Yes. Deputy Mayor Quinn? Yes. Mayor Moore? Yes. Resolution 2016-48. Resolution approving the public health nursing contract for 2016. Can I have a motion, please? Hold it. Second. Comments or questions? Councilmember Clayton? Yes. Councilmember Kendall? Yes. Councilmember Warner? Yes. Deputy Mayor Quinn? Yes. Mayor Moore? Yes. Resolution 2016-49, a resolution of the City of Asbury Park and the County of Monmouth, New Jersey, authorizing the execution of the redevelopment agreement for 603 Lake Avenue, LLC. Move it. Second. Comments or questions? Councilmember Clayton? Yes. Councilmember Kendall? Yes. Councilmember Werner? Yes. Deputy Mayor Quinn? Yes. Mayor Moore? Yes. Resolution 2016-50, which is a resolution of the Mayor and Council of the City of Asbury Park, approving a pilot agreement for Boston Way Village LLC for Asbury Housing Authority, Boston Way Village Housing and Development. I believe that matter is going to be tabled. Can I have a motion to table it, please? Move it. Second. All in favor? Aye. All opposed? Ayes have it. 2016-51, resolution amending resolution 2015-410, State New Jersey Department of Environmental Protection Green Acres Enabling Grant. Can I have a motion, please? Move it. Second. Comments or questions? Councilmember Clayton? Yes. Councilmember Kendall? Yes. Councilmember Warner? Yes. Deputy Mayor Quinn? Amy? Yes. Mayor Moore? Yes. Resolution 2016-52, resolution authorizing Execution of a right of way use agreement with Cross River Fire LLC. Can I have a motion, please? Move it. Second. Comments or questions? Councilmember Clayton? Yes. Councilmember Kendall? Yes. Councilmember Kendall? Yes. <laughs> Councilmember Werner? Yes. Deputy Mayor Quinn? Yes. Mayor Moore? No. Ayes have it. Resolution 2016-53, Resolution of the Mayor and Council of the City of Asbury Park for acting as a waterfront redevelopment entity, authorizing the issuance of Certificate of Completion to Madison Asbury Retail LLC for the First Avenue Pavilion. Can I have a motion, please? Move it. Second. Comments or questions? Councilmember Clayton? I'm oh, sorry, I have a question. Question, go ahead. Are we going to do something to put a date on this? That was the discussion. Yes. That was the discussion. Has it been added? Was it? We were going to include that in the performance guarantee uh, itself, not in the resolution. So when Mike and I work that out, um, we'll make sure it's in the document. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Any other comments or questions? Councilmember Clayton? Yes. Councilmember Kendall? Yes. Councilmember Warner? Yes. Deputy Mayor Quinn? Yes. Mayor Warren? Yes. On to ordinances, we have the first reading. 2016-01, it's a bond ordinance amending and supplementing bond ordinance number 3036, which provides for the reconstruction of a footbridge at Sunset Lake heretofore, finally adopted by the City of Council, City of Asbury Park, in the County of Monmouth, State, New Jersey, on January 16, 2013, to increase the appropriation by 550000 and to increase dollars and to increase the authorization of bonds or notes by five hundred and fifty thousand dollars. Have a motion, please. Move it. Second. Second. Comments or questions? Councilmember Clayton? Yes. Councilmember Kendall? Yes. Councilmember Warner? Yes. Deputy Mayor yes. Quinn? Yes. Mayor Moore? Yes. Public hearing for this ordinance is scheduled for January 27, 2016. Ordinance 2016-02, revising traffic and parking regulations for the residential and employee parking permits and amending and supplementing Ordinance 2015-55. Have a motion, please? Move it. Second. Comments or questions? Councilmember Clayton? 
Yes. And Mayor and Council, before you open up this ordinance for its uh, public hearing, I would recommend that you consider moving and seconding the amendments that I referenced during the uh, work session portion of tonight's meeting. That were three uh, non-substantial amendments that would be worked into pages five and six, as I indicated during the work session. They're shown in highlight on the versions of the document that you have before you, and they relate to certain comments and feedback um, and input that the Parking Advisory Committee received from residents after this ordinance was introduced. And uh, based on recommendations from the Parking Advisory Committee, the committee has requested that those revisions be incorporated into the final version of this ordinance. Move it. Second. Councilmember Clayton? Yes. Councilmember Kendall? Yes. Councilmember Warner? Yes. Deputy Mayor Quinn? Mayor Moore? Yes. Now can I have a motion to open ordinance 2015-55 to the public? Move it. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. All opposed? Does anybody like to speak on this matter? Motion to close? Move it. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Motion to adopt ordinance 2015-55 as amended. Move it. Second. Comments or questions? Councilmember Clayton? Yes. Councilmember Kendall? Yes. Councilmember Warner? Yes. Deputy Mayor Quinn? Mayor. Deputy Mayor Quinn? To yes. Uh, uh, <laughs> approve ordinance 2055 as amended? Yes. Mayor Warren? Yes. Oh, 2015-56. <laughs> Amending and supplementing Section 2-9 entitled Fire Department, Chapter 2, Administration of the Code of the City of Asbury Park, New Jersey, in order to establish a new subsection thereof to be known as Subsection 2-9.14 entitled Fees for Lockout Services for Motor Vehicles. Can I have a motion to open Ordinance 2015-56 to the public? Move, Move it. it. Second. All in favor? Aye. All opposed? Like to speak? $50? Um, that's that's going to be the fee if you get locked out and you need the fire department to break into your car for you? It seems a little steep. That, that's If you're a resident, you get two times free. Oh, okay. If you're a resident, you get two times free. If you're a non-resident and we have to send the trucks, we're charging you. So we're oh, okay. trying to increase revenue to reduce taxes, Jerry. <laughs> yeah, Jerry. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> <He's not gonna laughs> he never so, pays attention when I talk. This is just another, I mean, it's going to be a very, well, we hope it's not one penny. But it does take, the police can no longer do yeah. it. The fire oh, department sure, has sure. the apparatus. They have to, like, run the truck to the spot and everything. It is costing fuel. No, I agree. Okay. I agree that, that, that there should be a fee. It just seemed like. You know, 50 bucks. The, the third time, uh, you know, shame on you, right? right, right. Okay. <laughs> okay, not that I have a lot, got locked out of my car. Jerry's going on a long breath. Not that I got locked out of my car, but I was wondering before they raced the truck or the police to go do it, could the operator be instructed to say, do you have AAA or do you have Blue Star or something that will automatically unlock your car? before you at least try to be helpful before you try to stick them with a bill? I, I believe we already do that because I've locked myself out and I've been asked that same question. And they asked you all those questions? Yes. Okay. That's done. Yep. Motion to close ordinance 2015-56. Second. All in favor? All opposed? I have a motion to adopt ordinance 2015-56. Move it. Second. Question. Okay, it's not a question. I got to follow up, Jerry. I said, don't come. I'm calling my wife. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but I didn't want her to know that I was a nitwit, so. 
Okay. Thank you. Councilmember Clayton. Yes. Councilmember Kendall. Yes. Councilmember Warner. Yes. Deputy Mayor Quinn. Yes. Mayor Moore. Yes. Motion to adjourn. Move it. Second. All in favor? Aye. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.